Hi, Lucha Leaders. We are in week six of our Kamochi's curriculum, and that means we've already introduced our five main Kamochi's characters. Bug, Lovey Dove and Turtle Dove, Hugtopus, Cloud, and Cat. There's a couple of more Kamochi's characters that we're gonna introduce later on in the year, but now we're gonna switch gears a little bit and start talking about our keys to communication. So in Kamochi's, we teach you different strategies so that you can work with others effectively. And the first strategy that we're gonna be talking about is Kamochi's key number one, how to get someone's attention. Now, the most important thing to remember when you're communicating with people is that you have to be able to know that that person is listening to you. So before you engage in any conversation, you need to make sure that you have the other person's attention. Hugtopus helps us teach this lesson, and he gives us a few different ways that we can get someone's attention. Number one is to say that person's name. When you use their name, it'll trigger their listening to know that you're seeking their attention. So rather than just talking, first start off by saying the person's name. The second step is to make sure that you have eye contact. You want to see that that person is giving you their undivided attention. And so after you say their name, wait until you see that their eyes are looking at you. That will signify to you that they're ready to hear what you have to say. Now, sometimes those two things might not work. And so Hugtopus teaches us that a gentle communication tap can be another strategy for getting someone's attention. Sometimes this could even be used if maybe someone's not being aware of the space around them. Maybe someone cuts you in line and you can just give them a gentle communication tap to say, oops, I was there. Or maybe someone's sitting in a position in which you can't see the book that the teacher's trying to show you in class, or you can't see the board, you can give them a gentle tap on the shoulder just to say, hey, can you move over a little bit so I can see the board, please? Remember that whatever way you choose to get someone's attention, we need to make sure that we're being patient. So take these strategies for communication key number one, how to get someone's attention to make sure that before we start engaging in our conversations with others, we are, know that we have active listeners. I look forward to seeing you all practicing this key this week at Lucha.